Today on People with Passion for Pets, we talk to Mark Robinson, founder and CEO of Walking Pets. For over 20 years, Mark and his team have been creating mobility equipment for disabled pets so that these pets can have healthier, happier lives. Hi, Mark. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Privileged well, to be here. Uh, we're very excited to have you on our show, People with Passion for Pets. And uh, Mark, you are the founder and CEO of Walking Pets. And you're a company that has actually created products for disabled pets, which is so unique. And I'm so excited to talk to you about that. So uh, can you just tell us a little bit how you get started and what you guys do? It's, it's, a, it's a real privilege to be here, and, and thank you for helping us get the word out. Um, I started this company about 20 years ago under the name of HandicapPets.com. My job now is to travel around the world and promote this idea that, that oh, disabled right. pets can live happy, healthy lives. Mm -hmm. And in that I'm traveling sometimes six months out of a year, um, mm -hmm. I don't have any pets. Mm -hmm. I have thousands of pets around the world. Originally, I started the company as more of a message board and forum. There are a lot of people in this world caring for elderly, disabled, and injured pets. And, and what's happening is there's a, there has been a trend over the past, I've seen it for 20 years, of pets becoming family members. See, originally, and I faced this with veterinarians early on, originally, Pets, uh, animals were considered to be farm animals and considered to be assets, working animals. And the whole veterinary industry started around probably farming and, you know, where it was about keeping your animals working. Very quickly, though, these animals became family members. And as family members, they're entitled to the same health care you would give any family member. So yeah. this, this whole industry revolved around that, and, and vets have since really shifted their perspective that from treating assets to treating family members, which is a wonderful process that, that we've watched over the last 20 years in the veterinary industry. Uh, what happened was many years ago, before the Internet, I had a small quiche hound who was diagnosed with canine epilepsy, and the vet said there was no cure, and I had an infant at the time that um, the dog was, was growling at, and the vet recommended I put the dog to sleep, which, mm -hmm. which I did. Many years later, after the internet had really taken hold, a dear friend of mine was diagnosed with epilepsy, and I spent hours and hours researching on the internet. And in doing so, I realized that if I had had the internet when my dog was sick, I would have been able to make a much better decision. So I created the resource that I wished I had had, and I guess it struck a nerve. People all around the world began coming to, to this message board and talking to others. Uh, what, what I found was that people all over the world were caring for disabled animals, and they knew how valuable and full of life the animal was, but all of their friends and neighbors thought they were crazy. Oh, put the poor thing to sleep. Oh, you're torturing him. So they would come on the message board with questions like, how do you cut a tail hole in a pampers without the stuffing coming out? The yeah. basic questions that you, <laughs> you've got to ask. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the site and the business grew from there. It, it, just, it, it was about listening to, to the community seeing what they wanted, asking them what they needed, and then providing them with the products and services and support that they asked for. When I go to your website, I see all kinds of great products for handicapped pets. So obviously it, it took a big um, step to evolve from just giving advice and saying, hey, yeah, here's, the, here's a tip on how to cut a hole in the pampers to fit it on a dog, to what you do now, which is you have wheelchairs, you have braces, and, and all kinds of great products that help handicapped pets uh, mm. lead better fulfilling lives. It's about listening to what, what pet caretakers need. And over the years, well, where we started selling harnesses and ramps and uh, boots and some of the basics, as I began 
listening to the community, they started talking a lot about wheelchairs. And there was a – wheelchairs was a great idea. You'd have a, a, a dog with degenerative neuropathy or some sort of rear-end disease that couldn't walk. And you'd put him in a wheelchair, and he was, he was alive again. It was a new, new life for the dog. But the wheelchairs at that time were all custom-made. You needed 13 measurements, which you'd send away with a non-refundable deposit and get this huge wheelchair in a box that you, know, you couldn't even fit in a car door. And, of course, they weren't adjustable. If your dog's health changed or your measurement was wrong, you'd send it back to the manufacturer for adjustment. So as I was listening to these problems with wheelchairs, I was beginning to realize that they were all solvable. So what I did is with a, with a bunch of engineers and some canine rehab professionals and veterinarians, I designed a wheelchair that was easy to adjust. You can swap out the wheels for different sizes. You could extend the frame length, width, and height so that it would fold flat. It was adjustable. And I made it look good because the other complaint I was getting is everybody I'm walking down the street is saying, you put the dog in a poor torture chamber. <laughs> So I built one that was that, that looked nice as well. Since then, we've come up with colors. I came up first with pink and blue, but then my customers started using. We got this great video from a customer who uh, whose dog got a duck hunting certification in a wheelchair. That's awesome. <laughs> um, you know, with with apologies to the people who care for ducks as pets, um, <laughs> we made a camo wheelchair. That's and, awesome. Um, Along the lines, we realized that handicapped pet, the word handicapped, wasn't what we really wanted to be associated with. Uh, handicap is a negative word. It sounds like there's something you can't do, and we wanted to make it more positive. Uh, the name of the wheelchair was the walk and wheel, so we moved the name of the company. Well, first, for many years, we called it Walk and Pets by HandicappedPets.com, and now it's simply Walk and Pets which is what you saw when you came to the website. Yes, and I highly uh, encourage all of our listeners uh, to go to your website because uh, you have a video on there that shows like a bunch of dogs on a beach in wheelchairs. And it's so, it just, just one makes of my smile. favorites. Just what, yeah, it yeah. just makes you smile to watch that video. It's so neat. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we, uh, we, we were sent that, um, I, I believe that came from a rescue in Morocco. And um, when we see these families of dogs in wheelchairs, it's just, it, it's heartwarming. Yeah. And the dogs, you know, coming from a behavioralist, the dogs will adapt to whatever they're given. <laughs> I mean, that's gotta be such a satisfactory feeling when, when, you, when you find somebody that's hurting at the time along with their dog and you're able, you're, the pet, and you're able to fix that. You're able to, to get that email or that video, like, like life we've seen on your thing. When, when you see that video of those, that's our product. Our team did that. And we were able to get that, that team back out on the field or out on the, it's just got to be a great feeling. Well, let me, let me tell you one of my best stories about the time that I saw my product on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Please do. A, um, a young girl came into our office. Her name was Aurora. And she said she wanted, uh, she wanted us to build a wheelchair for her chicken. Well, we, we, we hadn't thought about that before. We'd done some for ducks. And, and um, we, we went, went about designing a wheelchair for her chicken. Apparently what had happened was a weasel attack had killed many of the chickens in her chicken uh, coop, but uh, one of them had survived with some injuries. She brought the chicken into the house. And of course, when you bring an animal into your home, regardless of what species the animal is, you fall in love with it. You're taking care of it. it, becomes a family member. The chicken was nursed back to health, but its legs didn't work well. So we built a wheelchair that supported the chicken just enough that the chicken could still move forward. And the chicken's name was Granite Heart. The chicken could still move forward by pushing its legs, but couldn't support its own weight. So by lifting it just a little bit and supporting its weight, we designed a wheelchair for the chicken. 
Well, of course, we were very proud of it. And uh, Jennifer, our director of marketing, sent out press releases to all the major outlets. So that Saturday, it's Weekend Update. And um, I'm watching Weekend Update. And the, the host comes in and is talking about strange headlines, shows a headline, a picture of Granite Hart in the wheelchair saying, company makes custom wheelchair for a chicken. And Colin and Joe said, just eat the chicken. And everybody laughed. They thought it was very funny. Well, in good humor, yes, I, I, humor is Hubert. I accept that. But I did send him a letter saying, you know, yes, this was funny. And I understand it was a joke. But, but this is this girl's family member. This is this girl's pet. And um, although we didn't get a response from them, the local TV station, Chronicle, saw it and they sent up some reporters and um, and we actually got Aurora here in the office to talk about it and uh, Aurora said you know I understand that this was humor and this was funny but if it had been a dog it wouldn't have been so funny would it mm. <laughs> this is a 10 year old girl and a yeah, it's good great thing. presence so overall it was a it was a wonderful wonderful experience to see my product on Saturday Night Live we were we were featured in the Subaru commercial, which I was very proud of. It shocked me to see. I didn't know it was coming. Um, and um, our, our videos go viral. It's, it's wonderful to see the acceptance. The other products that we've come up with have also been in response to the needs that people let us know about. Our blind dog, Halo, is is... It's just a wonderful resource. Blind dogs get very timid because when they walk, they bump their noses against things and it's, it's painful. Mm -hmm. So our blind dog harness, our our halo harness, it straps to their midsection and has a ring that fits like this over their head. So as they're heading toward a wall, before they hit the wall, the ring hits the ring. And we, we've seen dogs with a, with a halo harness getting their confidence back and exploring and walking around and running around. Yeah, our splints, our adjustable splints have been a, have been a great resource for dogs who uh, have leg problems. We now have a hip and a back brace, our hippies and our vertebrae. Uh, I've just been thrilled. And, and a lot of these products have been brought to us by our community. We, we love it when an inventor contacts us and, uh, and we create the product. Um, what we're trying to do is to support the dog as they're just beginning to feel the consequences of whatever their illness is. If we can catch them in the beginning as things are just starting to deteriorate or, or um, degenerate, then the dog will live a longer, happier, healthier life. How do you how do you come to develop these products? So there are some ideas that are coming from outside of your company, and then you must have a great team that just knows how to uh, realize or or put into action uh, these ideas that people send you. Although I get all the credit, it's not about me. It's about the team, and I, I have a. A wonderful team. We're we're now 40 people up here in Amherst, New Hampshire, about an hour north of Boston. Um, and uh, we we have a, an engineer, Jim Jones, who does a um, brilliant job in bringing these ideas that I have and that our our inventors have to life. The the rest of the team, Jennifer Pratt, who takes them and 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 brings these products out to market. She's our director of marketing. Uh, Kathy Conley, the president of the company now. One of the things that really has inspired me all along is that the people that this team needs just show up. They, they walk through the door when they're needed. And there's so much passion here in the minds of the people who participate in this. Our team feels like they're making the world better for dogs and other animals. And that's what they want to do as well. Which, that's wonderful. Yeah, which makes it better for the humans too, because that's their best friend that needs a little help, you know, and you all are able to provide that. So when you come up with a new product, how do you 
do you come up with something and say we're looking for a, a dog with epilepsy or something or how do you get that out there when you design something you come up with an idea my business ideas have always come basically from listening to complaints <laughs> And yeah. when, when you listen to people and when you listen to their problems and what they're trying to solve, it presents ideas. Oh, I can solve that. So typically then I'll work with the engineers here to come up with solutions. We'll do some prototypes and then send the prototypes out to dogs who want to try them for us with, a, with an understanding that they're prototypes. We get their reactions and usually make several changes to it. The adjustable splint was a, was a great example. Uh, so many dogs need splinting support for their legs. And well, we made the initial splint that was a, a hard fixed splint, which worked great, except people were saying it doesn't fit. My dog's leg is too thick. It's obviously the leg of a greyhound is very different than the leg of a, of a, of a basset hound. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so to make one that was adjustable so that it's adjustable in the width so that we could handle many sizes of dogs. So there's an evolution and we have somebody here who, and several people in customer service who, who specialize in listening to customers and, and seeing what kind of innovations we can make on these products. Interesting. So what's the uh, latest product that you've just come up with? Um, We've got some very exciting products that we're just about to release, which I'm not going to mention here, but if you'd like, I will oh, make sure you're one of the first to know. Um, there's just so much that the industry, technology is making so much available and so many solutions constantly available to, um, to animals in need. It's, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, you're right with the technology. It's just it's kind of amazing that like 3D printing and stuff like that. If you can if you can put it on a computer aided design software, you can print it or something like that. So it's mm -hmm. it is technology is awesome, especially in that area because you can make smaller wheels or spokes or whatever you need. That's very cool materials. You also spoke about family and and one of the things that strikes me constantly is how the products that we sell allow families to be together again. And a great example of this was a dog named Denali who came to us um, several years ago, hadn't walked in about five years. Uh, and they, although almost all of our wheelchairs are sold online through our website or through Amazon, uh, some people who live locally will actually bring their dog here. And this was the case. They brought the dog here and we put a wheelchair on the dog and all of a sudden dogs started running away. Well, nobody had thought to bring a leash. Dog hadn't walked in five years. <laughs> That's, That's a great so, story. So here we are chasing the dog across the parking lot and we catch him and, and everything's fine. And the dog is extremely happy. Um, a few weeks later, they send us a video of the dog in Squam Lake. And the, the video is of the dog hiking through the woods with the family. And then the whole family goes swimming in the lake and the dog joins them and they take the wheelchair off in the water and the dog's swimming around with a stick and the whole family's there. And that to me is the epitome of what we're doing. Yes. We're, we're, we're caring for family members so that they can enjoy their lives with the family. Yeah, and, and that's so true. They're part of the family. I mean, I know exactly what you're talking about from the farm animals to the family. I've, I personally have been down that, that road, so I understand also. So, I, I do a lot of work internationally. Um, a, a large percentage of our sales comes from international other countries. And as we look at getting distribution in another country, one of the things I try to find out as we're determining what the market is, is what percentage of the dog owners or pet owners in that country sleep with their pets. It may seem like a strange metric, but when you invite your pet into your bed, as I think over 60% of Americans do, mm -hmm. that's a family member and you're going to care for that animal. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
So um, being that uh, pets are obviously such a huge part of uh, what you do, um, are you like a pet friendly employer? <laughs> yes, uh, we, 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 if you look at our website, when you go to meet the team, um, you, you see a bunch of our, our family pets there. And uh, I, I just, I love the idea of sitting here, head down, doing my work on a computer, and in comes uh, Winnie or um, a wet our, nose to come over and say, hey, will you pet Say me? hi, right. It sort of brightens my day and it's always reminds us of what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. So for our uh, for our listeners and viewers, share your information. Where can they find you? How can they get in contact with you if they have a need for one of your products or just want to check out your websites? It's really easy. Go to walkinpets.com. And um, the, the actual name is Walkin, W-A-L-K-I-N, pets. But if you type in walking pets with a G, that'll get us too. Um, and uh, yeah, we're available globally. We can also be found on Amazon. Uh, but one of the benefits to, to going on our site is we have a um, kind of an artificially intelligent sure fit calculator that asks you a few simple questions about your pet <clears throat> and helps you choose the ideal size wheels and frame if you're, if you're looking at a wheelchair. We're putting this into our splints as well and several of our other products so that really sizing, which is one of the, the big issues, the, the difference, the variance in size is huge between, as I mentioned, a 40 pound greyhound looks nothing like a 40 pound basset hound, that uh, choosing the right size is important. But of course, it's really easy to return and exchange stuff. Well, let's cover that. So my dog's different than her dog or vice versa. And we think we find a product and we should we just order the product and see if it works or should we call somebody and say, this is what I have. Do you need pictures and measurements? What's the best way to go about getting one of your products? Our website is designed to give you everything you need to know. And we go to great lengths to make it really easy to order. When you go onto the website for any product, we have sizing charts, we have descriptions, we have videos, we have everything you need to enable you to make the to, to, to get the best choice of, of size and shape and products we have a, a a piece i designed called where does it hurt where you point to the part of the dog where you need help and it tells you what products are available for for that animal and i'm saying dogs we do just we we have a wide range cats rabbits uh, we've done wheelchairs for turtles and goats, and, <laughs> but um, ideally you should find everything you need to know on the website. If you don't, we have a wonderful customer support staff. You can call and very quickly get any kind of additional information you need. And if you order the wrong one, we're happy to exchange it. This is about making life better for your animal. It's like you mentioned in the beginning of our interview, um, many, many years ago, if you uh, ordered uh, something so specific for a dog's need, um, more than likely you, you weren't able to return that product if you needed to. So I think that's great. Right. Plus, it, plus it can get it in different colors. <laughs> <laughs> well, it really is important because when you get the item, you don't want to have to send it back. So it's your website is very nice for that because you want to kind of get it right first because when you get that package in and you open it up and you're saying my dog can now be mobile or it's going to help ease my pain you don't want to throw it back in the package and ship it off for another size so the site is set right. up quite well to get it right the first time now you obviously work with a, a lot of rescues and uh, organizations i'm sure as well i uh we, we have a whole dealer and rescue and vet department here. The, the rescues are part of our team. This is, these are the people that, that we are really here to support in every way we can. The discounts we give to rescues and the support we give to veterinarians is crucial to what our mission is. And I'm sure that that is also very, very good because that's probably where a lot of your feedback is coming in from products, right? Your initial... Uh, testing products and things like that. I have a great little story there of a rescue that I just just came back from visiting, actually Marley's Mutts in California. Um, Zach, who, who has created this huge 
facility, this campus to care for disabled animals has been a great partner for us and helps us. Uh, he actually just came back from Morocco. The CDC recently made a change where we couldn't bring in disabled dogs. But right before that, he went to Morocco and picked up 11 disabled dogs that he brought to his, his campus. Uh, we donated a bunch of wheelchairs and I went out there to meet him just recently. There's some great videos of that on our site and, and on his site. But Marley's Mutts is an example of a rescue uh, partnership that works really well for us. Well, I'm just Absolutely. thinking that's uh, just a great company. Thank you so much for what you do. We, Thank you. And of course, um, we'll make sure that we share your information in the description below our video. So anybody watching us on YouTube, uh, they can go ahead and just check those links that get you directly to your sites. Um, and also, if you're on a podcast, we'll have those uh, links provided for you. It's been very nice talking with you. It's very, very nice to hear about your products and stuff that can help the families out there. <laughs> Thank you. And thank you for helping me get the word out. It's, it's, it's all about people learning that their elderly, disabled, or injured pet can live a happy, healthy life. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you have a great day. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Take care. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the information. And until next time, keep your paws on the road.